right, welcome back. Welcome back to LCS TV Plus. And today I'm going to teach you how to bridge your assets from the Ethereum mainnet over to the Sora network using a Hasi bridge on PokerSwap. And um, this way you'll reduce the gas fees. You'll be paying less than a quarter on PokerSwap, exchanging out uh, for different assets. And also I'm going to go over the liquidity pool information, what's the rewards for earning PSwap as you'll be a liquidity provider. All right, so before we get started, a couple of tools that you need. You need the PokerSwap Dex that's built on the Sora network. Also, you need your crypto wallet, which is MetaMask and etc. You need the Polkadot.js Chrome extension. It's compatible with Brave Browser, which I'm using. And you need the Series tool. This is where it's going to give you information on token, pairs, and forming with uh, provided information. All right, before we start anything, what you wanna do is create yourself a Polkadot wallet with the Polkadot.js Chrome extension. You're gonna hit this plus, you're gonna hit create new account. And it's pretty much the same process as setting up a MetaMask wallet on Ethereum. And once you finish with that, you have an account looking like this. Now for PokerSwap, you can use any type of wallet. I'm using my Polkadot wallet and I can just switch the network to allow use on any chain. And what that's going to do is not going to necessarily focus on a specific network unless it's required. All right, so the first thing you want to do is head over to Bridge in the menu. And we're going to hit this converter where we're going to go from Ethereum mainnet to the Sora mainnet. We're going to choose a token. Make sure your MetaMask or your crypto wallet is connected. And um, it recognize my balance of Ethereum here. All right, so I'm about to bridge over $200 worth of Ethereum. And as you see, on the Sora network, this is what it's gonna convert over to the mainnet. I'm gonna hit next. Confirm transaction, no fees on the Sora network, and then on the Ethereum network fee is pretty low. So I'm gonna hit confirm. All right, so gas fees, whew, only $7.84 just to do this. All right, that's, that's amazing. All right, so I'm gonna let this load and I'll come back when it's finished. All right, so I'm on my account right below Bridge, and I do see a balance of $204.08 worth of Ethereum that was bridged over from the main net onto the Sora network. So this is good. Um, my Ethereum has landed on the Sora network. Now I'll be able to take advantage of the low transaction fees, and I can just head over to Swap, right? And um, I can just choose any type of asset, make sure um, you're going to do the same procedure. Make sure you have about a hundred bucks worth of XOR. You're going to be paying less than a quarter in fees for swaps, but um, XOR is very important. It's going to be the gas for the network. So um, just keep in mind there. And um, I can just scroll down and just uh, look at the list, different lists of assets they have. Also keep in mind some of the token pairs don't have liquidity, so you won't be able to swap it. So what you want to do is go to the Citrus tool and you want to go to pairs. You want to click pairs and you want to see um, which assets are tradable. Um, you're going to be looking at the like pair liquidity, the volume of the assets pairs. So you have about six pages of different assets that's on the Citrus tool. So you can kind of see um, the pair liquidity and volume. And um, this platform is just the beginning. And speaking of just the beginning, if you head over to Farming and look at the liquidity pool rewards, um, every one XOR in PSwap slash Val slash Eve slash Die Pool yields is about 19 P swap per day or 98% APR. That is not bad, especially getting in early like this. And also every one XOR and other pool yields is about nine P swap per day or about 49% APR. That's not bad. I'm telling you like these rates are pretty good. And I want to say the best part, if you provide liquidity in the right projects, I think it's going to be a really good benefit in the long run because as you get more people are searching for alternative exchanges or decks, um, I think PokerSwap is going to be one of the tops. And, you know, thinking about getting in the right projects, providing liquidity in like different projects that you like. Like, I'm going to be providing liquidity for AMP, uh, Unibyte, and KeeperDAO, Ren, RenBTC, you know, those type um, assets like more in the DeFi RAM are what I'm going to be providing liquidity on PokerSwap. And also, if you click tokens, this is going to be like your guide of seeing which tokens are tradable or swappable. So um, you have about six lists of different assets. All right. So for example, I'm going to type in link. So chain link is one. So I'm going to go back to the poker swap decks and I'm going to choose a token. I'm going to type in link. 
a lot. So I'm going to hit max. And then when I hit swap, you see the network fee, you're paying less than a quarter in fees with XOR. And I'm going to go ahead and hit confirm. And I'm going to put in my trading password. All right, so transaction was submitted. And there you go. I got my balance like five, like literally that was like three seconds actually. And I can go to my accounts. And look at that. My chain link is right there. And it says right here, swap 0.06 ETH for 7.71 link. And also before I wrap it up, if you bridge your Ethereum assets over to the Sora mainnet, you might want to add that token into your account. You won't be able to see it once it's converted over to the Sora network. So you can just go down here, add asset, and then you just type in whatever the asset name, and then like, for example, Ave, and then you just understand the risk, and then you hit add asset. You just wanna make sure you copy the asset um, ID, make sure that the ID are the same as it's registered on PokerSwap. And that's pretty much it. And then I can just hit add asset, and you'll see Ave right there. And then I could remove it. You know, I can remove the asset anytime. Same with uh, my Ethereum, I can remove it. And also, once again, PokerSwap is built on the Sora network, focusing on interoperability, connecting the rest of the crypto ecosystem to Polkadot. Also, they have a Web3 Foundation grant, and this is why I love PokerSwap and I love the Sora network. I can appreciate every moment of what they're trying to do. All right, I'm about to wrap it up. If you enjoyed this video, make sure y'all smash the subscribe button, turn on bell notifications. Also, leave me a like for the support. I'll be over at Telegram. This is Oliver, and I'm signing out. <laughs>